G'day guys, Walk here, and welcome to a little bit of a tutorial video on a wither, spawner, and killer system uh, for use in the FTB Infinity mod pack. Now, if you watched my last video, which was kind of a little bit of a base tour, uh, I briefly spoke about my wither, spawner, killer thing. I based this idea off somewhere on YouTube, I, for the life of me, I can't remember where it was where I saw it, uh, but this thing is super fast, as in spawns them scarily quick. Uh, there is a way to change how quick it spawns the withers, I'll show you guys that later on how to, how to adjust it, but uh, for a little bit of a lowdown on how it works is there's a level emitter here that's hooked up to my main A system. And it says, hey, if there's less than 32 nether stars uh, in storage, then... Da, 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 da. It's raining, is it? Okay, turn that shit off. Uh, so if there's less than half a stack of nether stars, then kick this baby into gear. So what it does is... That'll emit a redstone signal, that's what a level emitter does. And this thing is set up so that it will draw uh, skeleton skulls and soul sand from the storage up here to these formation planes, which will spawn them. The wither will then drop because non aggroed withers will just fall with gravity, kind of like chickens, pretty much. They'll slowly fall and they will hit that uh, miscraft portal that we've got set up here. And the destination of that portal is inside this chamber. So basically, as soon as they spawn, bang, they're in here. And that's when they do that initial phase where they get bigger and bigger and then they explode. And as soon as that happens, this uh, mob grinder unit will actually... It'll kill them. It'll drop all the loot in the bottom of this box. There is a item transfer node from Extra Utilities sitting in the bottom with some world interaction upgrades so that anything that's dropped in that 3x3 area it'll suck them up and dump them into the storage in the main system and uh, for this level emitter to read so okay I'll just give you a quick demo on what it's like so I've got a few nether stars in here in a moment okay so you ready for how quick this runs it is nuts oh yeah by the way if you're on headphones or you've normally listen to stuff loudly, I recommend you turn your volume down now. I really do. The last warning. Ready? Okay, so you may have noticed that even though we set this for 32, there is actually a few more than 32. That's due to uh, how quickly this thing spawns. It's the time delay between when it spawns the last one, like once that hits 32, and because this is still spawning even though it hits 32, because there's just so many banked up in the system. I personally like like it that way for the fact that you're not always turning this thing on once you hit half a stack. So it gives you a little little bit of buffer room. Oops. Getting a bit violent here. Um so yeah, uh a couple of things to note. One is this mob grinder will actively try and kill the wither when it's doing its startup 
phase, if you want to call it that. So this effectively does waste power. So I recommend not use not setting this up unless you have some kind of decent power generation set up. Uh, I can't remember how much it requires per attempted kill, but yeah, if you're running big reactors and you've got a little bit of power to spare, you should you should be fine. Unless you're a power Nazi, you want to hit 100% efficiency with your power. Uh, then you're out of luck, I'm afraid. But um, I can't think of any other leading notes. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't necessarily have to have this set up with um, applied, like your main storage system does not have to be applied energistics. Uh, I would recommend this bit is though, for obviously for the formation planes. But I'm assuming, I haven't set, set it up, but I'm assuming you can set this up with logistics pipes and have a redstone signal monitoring how much you've storage of, you've got of your nether stars in your system. Just as long as you can deliver uh, the soul sand and wither skeleton skulls to this um, and with the regulated translocator so it only does one at a time uh, that's all I can think of at the moment so let me just get some stuff ready and I'll show you guys how to build it okay so to begin with you're going to need a, what is it, a 5x5 five five in the ground here. So this is going to be the floor. Okay, so the inside of your, uh, the actual killing chamber, is going to be three wide by three wide by four high. So, what we'll do is we'll build this around here like so. So, I like to double layer pretty much everything. So, let me grab my super builder's wand. So, we'll just double layer everything out here. Okay, now, you don't need these corner bits here. Um, you can leave them in. I took them out on my main build on at my base just to make it so I can put uh, like the corner, the slope blocks from carpenter's blocks to make it look pretty. Uh, okay, so once that's done, you'll want to put so that's one, two, three, four. So. Alright, so that's our killing chamber done. Uh, so then we have our main spawny bit, which is going to be three wide on the inside. So now, don't necessarily have to make this um, all solid blocks, but I do just in case the wither likes to try and spawn somewhere in gaps and whatnot. Uh, so then we grab our Mistcraft portal crystal things and put book receptacle on the end. And then There's a reason why I'm building it like this, so that's... Now I'm going to knock those out, just so I can get in and out easily. Okay, so... I'm just trying to remember how I did this now. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... What we'll do here... Grab some cable anchors. 
And you only need one there, but I'll put two to make it look nice. Uh, boop. Okay. Then formation planes. Um, you don't need facades here, but I do it just like you probably never got to look in here anyway. But I like to cover everything up. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll configure our formation planes while we're at it. So grab our with the skulls and soul sand. So skull here. Make sure that these are put on places block. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Well, not necessarily a bad time, it's just not going to work. Okay, the top three configured for skulls, and the bottom four configured for... Whoops. Uh, that one's done, yep. And the bottom four are configured for soul sand. Sweet. So we'll knock those out so we can have pretty little windows. Don't need to put them in, but, um, oh yeah, that's watered glass from Thorncraft. It's basically glass that is explosion resistant, much like your reinforced obsidian from Ender.io. Uh, you don't need to put the glass in, I just put it in there so you can see what's going on. Uh, I'll put a lid on it. Okay. So, now, we'll grab ourselves interface, cell... And the controller, controller here, power source there, doesn't matter, so soon that'll kick on. All the channels look good. So interface there, interface there. And then you get your, uh, what's that thing called, translocator, which I don't have anymore. Yeah, bloop. Okay, so translocator there and there. Put redstone dust and a diamond nugget on that one. And... Ah. Okay, so that's configured for one weather. And then this interface, you want to configure the same so four of them and three of them. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We'll hook up the. Oh, what's that thing called? Level emitter in a moment. Uh, we can fill this in, but not just yet. Okay. So our mob grinder goes here. And then we can put a uh, power source for it, which can be test rack or whatever, in under there. We'll have to go in under that stuff in a bit. But we'll close this back wall up. Um, place, please. Thank you. Can we bring this out a bit? Like this can, this leads back to your base. Or where the uh, main storage is. So, da -da 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 -da. controller there, interface here. Um, yeah. So when it, uh, like that dense cable or whatever, it can actually even be um, just regular flux cable. That will lead back to your, back to your base. Just as long as you have two channels free on it, I think. One for the level emitter and one for the interface. Uh, okay, so we'll put that there. Um, drive there. I might as well put the cable there. Oops. Oh. Cable there. Terminal there. We'll grab ourselves some drives. Uh, well, one should do for the moment. Okay. 
So we're nearly done. I'll fill this in before I forget. Okay, next up is our uh, item transfer node from extra utilities. What I'm going to do is I'll grab three of the world interaction upgrades and you don't need many of the speed upgrades, it's just that I grab a few, just in case. Oops. There's uh, a metal block there. So transfer node goes on the bottom, like that, like so. Put those in. I'll grab our transfer pipe. Um, I'll plug this hole back up. Actually, make sure that doesn't connect. I'm pretty sure it won't have any adverse effects, but... Okay, so that should be connected now. So all your drops will get put back into your system. Uh, that's right, level emitter. So one of them, one of them. Go here, here, level emitter on the side. Uh, change that to that one. We will get this to spawn one wither. No, it's going to make an ass of me. Whoops. This kids. That's why you make sure you got your book set up first. <sighs> well, shit. On the bright side, it didn't cause that much damage. Uh, anyway, so we'll fix this up. Even the best people can forget stuff. I'm very modest, aren't I? Um, okay, so formation plane. Do -do -do. Uh, regular smart cable and anchors. So. So yeah, guys, make sure, for the love of God, you got your miscraft book set up first before you tell it to spawn anything. Because that's what's happens. So there, 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 and there. Um, okay, so skull, skull, do, 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 skull, sand. Sand, do, do 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 sand, and one more sand. Okay. So we'll just pop in here. We'll grab a miscraft linking book. Okay. Now, normally, you won't be able to make this link modifier, the normal way you get an intralinking panel for your book is you dump gold dust into an ink mixer, but because for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll just do that straight away. Okay, put that in there. Portal is open. So, let's try this again, shall we? Uh, da, 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 
da. Ah, yes. Uh, one of them, one of them. Actually, that's where that went. So that there, and that there. There we go. So, moment. Dead. Go back here. Hey, we've got another star. So what we'll do is we'll go up to here. We'll turn that off. And say, nether star, then however many you want. So I'm going to go 32. That'll turn that on. And then... Dump all that stuff in there. Noisy. And we've got some nether stars. Sweet. Uh, now, I did mention beforehand about slowing this down a bit. The way you do that is because, as you prob probably figured, that, that holy shit, that spawns really, really quickly. Uh, the way you do this is you just drop uh, this mistcraft portal. So I'm going to drop it down by uh, one, I think, and this should slow it down significantly. So put that there, get our reinforced obsidian back out. Okay, book in there. Like so, and gonna need some more of this stuff. Okay, pull him out. Okay, so as you can see. It's spawning a lot slower. So yeah, it drops a bit. It does drop the spawn rate a, a fair bit, like that. So that's pretty much it. Um, and just a recap of the stuff you're going to need. You're going to need reinforced obsidian, uh, miscraft crystals, so uh, watered glass if you want to be able to have like little windows, and so on. 
Uh, you'll need a item transfer node from extra utilities. You'll need a draconic evolution mob grinder. Uh, you'll need AE cables, an extra controller. Uh, what's that? Seven formation planes. Uh, interfaces, trans item translocator, level emitter. Um. Oh yeah, and you, if you, if you're going to have this set up in the same world as everything else, you are absolutely going to need to set interlinking on your book. There is no way around it, uh, because it won't work otherwise. So actually, yeah. So if you're going to have this bit in a different world to this bit then you don't need to put interlinking on here. But if you want it as one complete unit, like I've, I've got here, uh, you will need to put interlinking, which I mentioned earlier is done by putting gold dust into your ink mixer. And then there's a very small chance you'll get an interlinking panel out of it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys also enjoyed the absolutely insane speed that withers get killed around here. And if you have any dramas, do drop a comment. I mean, you've seen what a sm very small oversight can do here earlier, like forgetting to put this uh, linking book in. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with it. Have fun.